As you know, Qt is the most powerful software development platform on the planet. But what if you develop in Python? Allow me to introduce PySci2. If you have no idea what PySci2 is, it allows you to do everything you can do in Qt in Python. That's right. You can do all your development in Python and still leverage the power of Qt. To get started, go to download.qt.io, go to snapshots, CI, PySide, go to the latest version and the latest folder, click on PySide 2, and finally download the wheel file that's appropriate for your operating system. After you've downloaded the wheel file, go ahead and bring up a command line. We're going to go ahead and use the Python Packaging Manager, and we're just going to install that. This may take a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer, but it should go fairly quickly. Once it's done, let's go ahead and verify the installation. As you can see, it's fully installed. Notice the location. We're going to navigate out to this location and check out some examples. To save a bit of time, I've already opened Qt Creator and I've navigated to the PySide 2 installation folder. In there you can see there's an examples folder. This folder contains a lot of examples. When you start drilling into these, you'll see it just gets deeper and deeper. There are tons of examples to get you started. Let's go ahead and look at a few of these. The first example we're going to look at is under charts. It's called memory usage. Go ahead and open the file. As you can see, the code is actually pretty simple. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. Let's right click, open terminal here. As you can see, the application itself is pretty basic as well. Now, I don't want you to think that Qt for Python is only for basic applications. It can get very complex very quickly as we're about to see. Let's close this. And let's scroll down to widgets, go to animation, and let's look at animated tiles. And we're just going to open the animated tiles source file. As you can see, it gets pretty complex pretty fast. Running the animated tiles example, you can see this thing is actually pretty awesome. That's written in Python. That's right, Python. That just blows my mind. Look at how smooth those animations are. Now, if you have no idea where to begin and you want to start writing your own custom code, crack open the tutorial folder. There are step-by-step -step tutorials that take you from a very basic application to a pretty complex one. And let's look at a few of these. The first tutorial is very simple. It's just a Hello World application. You've probably seen this before, but let's run it just to see what it looks like. As expected, Hello World. Simple, easy. Let's open up another example. Let's look at the fifth tutorial. This one deals with signals and slots. Let's go ahead and run this one. Works as expected. Let's scroll all the way to the end and look at the 14th tutorial. This one actually is a lot more complex. This is an entire game. That's right, an entire game built in Python using Qt. Let's run this and see what this game looks like. Ooh, that is a pretty tough angle, guys. I don't know if I can get this. Let's set the angle, set the force, and uh, let's shoot. Let's see. Is it? Is it? Oh, first shot. If you're like me, you're hungry for more. Visit cute.io. Click on resources. Then go to development tech talks and tutorials. As you can see, we have got a ton of tutorials out there. Go ahead and visit today and let us know what you think. I'll see you there.